This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, August 27th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. This week I'm uh, trying to update the congregation on things that I am doing in my ministry that are not necessarily um, working for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. So one of one of the things uh, that I spent an early update on, but it's worth talking about a little bit more, uh, is that over the course of this year, I started serving on two um, boards. One is the Faith Coalition of Lancaster County. We'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Um, but the other uh, is that I now serve on the board of the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship. And the UUCF is an old organization within Unitarian Universalism that's really an interest group um, made up of, of those in Unitarian Universalism with some connection to Christianity. Some folks are deeply committed Unitarian Universalist Christians, some folks are clergy at one of our uh, congregations that is both Christian and Unitarian Universalists. There are many of those. And some are like me, folks who might call themselves humanists or atheists, but who are drawn to, uh, to conversations about Christian scripture and, and who find that, um, that strand of our tradition an important one. Um, it's, a really, it's been a really good organization to be a part of. And it's a fascinating time to be part of the Unitarian Universalist Christian Fellowship because we're in this moment reevaluating a lot of, of what we do as an organization. The pandemic has opened up a lot of possibilities for a lot of people and organizations, but none more so than, than the uh, geographically spread out interest groups like UUCF. You know, while in the past we've had to really focus on times when we're physically together, General Assembly uh, and sometimes, uh, sometimes gatherings that happen during the year, um, we can now open up our programming in a different way. One of the things that that means um, is that uh, uh, we're going to collaborate this fall um, on a, uh, a Bible study for skeptics who have been known to pray we're calling it. Um, I'm co-teaching it with uh, a colleague of mine, Sadie, um, who's a minister in North Carolina. Um, and that's another another gift of this time, is the opportunity to, to do work of collaboration and ministry with other folks who we don't see that often in person. So the course will run, I think we're looking at six Wednesdays um, in starting in October, um, probably every other Wednesday. We're still nailing down the exact dates and times um, and, uh, and what it's going to look like, but we're going to use the, the curriculum from the Massachusetts Bible um, Society, uh, which is a, a liberal Christian um, curriculum introducing um, scripture. I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's, it's going to be a really fun thing. Um, we'll, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping we get some folks um, from Lincoln to come out to it. Um, if it is something that seems interesting to you at our congregational retreat in about a week and a half, um, one of the things that's on the schedule is, is a, uh, a one hour course on the Psalms, um, for skeptics who have been known to pray. Um, so if this is something that you're interested in, but you're not sure you want to commit to, uh, to a longer adult, uh, religious formation class, um, come to that session on the Psalms next Saturday the 5th um, and uh, and see if it's something that interests you. All right, tomorrow we'll talk about the Faith Coalition uh, and for now have a great evening.